Hello, my name is Dr. Addie Adelaine. I said that slowly because today I'm trying to demonstrate live captioning and how it works. And in order to get it accurate, sometimes I have to slow down what I'm saying. Um, as you'll be seeing in the grey box below, I'm utilising a soft bit of software called Web Captioner. It's a web-based program to do live captioning as I speak. Now, this is really useful for people doing video presentations that want to make it accessible or individuals that are dyslexic that need to record typed copies of what's being said or individuals who are trying to do videos and embed it like me or individuals who are researchers and trying to capture what's been said in research interviews without the need of typing everything down. So we'll be doing captioning and transcription here. So captioning's live, transcription comes from recorded videos or audio recordings. Okay, so what you're seeing now is a program called OBS Studio. This bit of software is free, you can download it and I'll give the link below, but it's a bit of software which is exceptionally useful for kind of doing presentations and talks. It's setting up a kind of structure for my video. So my video is, live video is being shown in the middle, but I've also created a space for my title to be shown, my Twitter handle, my organizational logo, and also I make sure that I create a space at the bottom for captioning to make sure that it's accessible. Now, at the moment I'm doing live captioning, but typically I try to take the captioning offline, correct it all um, after the presentation, because it's never 100% perfect and then I embed it into the video. Um, so apologies for what you're seeing and the errors that you might be seeing, um, but live captioning is never, never perfect. Okay, so we've got OBS Studio kind of creating this framework for us. What I've done is I've gone to a web page called um, Web Captioner, and I'll show you the web page now. Um, it's a brilliant site and it's free, although they do ask for donations, and I would suggest if you're using it a lot, you do donate, it's a great site. All you have to do is go to this page and press start captioning. You don't even have to create a profile. And what it will do is start generating the captionings um, that you're seeing on this text as I speak. So it's Web Captioner that's creating the auto captioning for me on this occasion. Okay, what I've done is I've used the URL, the screen from Web Captioner and embedded it into OBS Studio to put my video and the captioning together. Now, once you've finished a talk or presentation, Web Captioner is quite funky in that it will allow you to download all of the text, it keeps it for you, and you can download it into an SRT file, which you can embed in a video once it's corrected, or you can actually use it for transcription. So if you're doing interviews or you want your own record, you can actually keep the whole conversation as a Word file for free. You can download it, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, um, one of the tricks that I work with um, is Web Captioner only does live captioning. Um, so you need to be speaking into your microphone and it picks up the sounds from your microphone. Now that causes a little bit of problem if you've got a recorded audio or recorded um, video that you want to transcribe and, and many researchers want to do this they want to use the recordings so what i do is i kind of cheat and i use another bit of software to kind of create an invisible cable that goes from my speakers to my microphone so it's kind of tricking my computer and thinking what is recorded is actually live going into my mic. So I use a different couple of um, websites and bits of software to do that. So what I utilize, and I'll just, sorry, go to the correct pages now, is I get an invisible cable from this site, VB Audio Software. Again, it's free to download, but they do ask for donations. So that's the invisible cable that will take the sound from your speakers to your microphone. I then utilize a kind of mixing bit of software called voice meter and that allows you to kind of manage where the sound comes in from and where it goes out to. Again it can be a little bit tricky um, but I'll send you some links to, I'll put some links to some really good YouTube videos that will explain how to do everything. So by doing that I kind of create 
a workaround for kind of doing live transcription. So I can do, as a researcher, I can play my videos, my audios, and get a nearly 100% accurate transcription of what's going on for free. And then I can download it into Word, listen to it again, and just do the corrections rather than having to type everything out. Um, So that was a really fast kind of explanation of how to do captioning and transcription. Um, If you like this video and you want to hear more, I'll be doing more of these. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about OBS Studio and how to utilize that effectively. Also, how I utilize a bit of program called VCAM to create backgrounds such as this without the use of a green screen Um, so you can utilize different backgrounds or even videos my angelic look here or my covid look here um, utilizing the program called vcam and as you can see here this is my actual real background you don't need a green screen or anything like that to kind of get an image like this onto your screen um, you can also use, also utilize it all for branding your information, which is really useful kind of in these days where we're zooming everything um, and our names don't always come up or our Twitter handles don't come up. So I utilize it to look like this, excuse me, um, when I'm zooming or Skyping or using Teams. I also do it to embed my PowerPoint presentations so you can see me and my PowerPoint. But I have to leave that kind of for a different presentation. Um, You would help me by liking my YouTube channel or following me on Twitter. Um, If you're feeling really generous, you can look up Ladders for Action. My website's on the YouTube video and make a donation to us if you choose to do that. Um, So that's it for my first little kind of method toolkit video. I hope it was useful and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.